Hello, hello, hello! It's uh, 2 p.m. according to my watch. So what does that mean? It's time for our lunch and learn here with your host, yours truly, Prosper Taruvinga. I'm hoping you've had a fantastic week. And to my American friends, I wish you happy July the 4th. Y'all deserve a holiday and also to celebrate your independence and your freedom. Okay, so like I said, my name is Prosper Taruvinga and I'm chilling, um, ho- I'm, 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 I'm <laughs> coming live to you from Melbourne. And I'm hoping that you're having a fantastic day. Just type in the comments there if this is your first time around just let me know where you are logging in or tuning in from just so that I know what our audience is like okay so obviously as the topic suggests today we're going to talk about the struggles that small businesses actually encounter and before we even go any further to all the runs that they might have etc etc the biggest problem the biggest root of everyone's problem is lack of cash flow and that lack of cash flow stems from not getting enough leads or enough clients or people actually paying you for your service okay so everybody else that i encounter i usually ask them this question sorry it's it's, it it looks like my little girl wrote this because i'm trying to write it backwards what do you sell and who needs it okay so if you really really dig deep into your business structure the way you started your business and who actually um you want to serve that is the one question that will determine if you're going to be in business tomorrow next week next month in the next five years next 10 years or into the next generation okay if you can't determine what your actual service is and who actually needs it which is basically what your message is and who the market that needs to get that message you are already lost and you've already lost the battle of business all right so i can see my friend jashmir ale just tuned in thank you so much for tuning in all right um this is the lunch and learn proudly hosted and sponsored by leave long digital and um your host is prosper tarovinga okay so it's not your fault okay it never is your fault and it would never be anybody else's fault the fault is we are now living in the era where everybody was just being bombarded with content the economy is not working for everyone and you know we're changing presidents etc etc and what we are actually not realizing is everybody is jumping on to this whole entrepreneurial bandwagon but are we all cut out to be entrepreneurs that should be a question that you should ask yourself because not everybody can be a doctor not everybody can be a lawyer not everybody can be a pilot okay what makes us think that everybody can just wake up and have an overnight success as an entrepreneur online or be an entrepreneur itself erica bruce says hello and nice to be here how are you doing i'm doing fantastic And I hope you're doing well too, okay? But that doesn't have to limit your options. That doesn't have to stop you from wanting to achieve more for yourself, for your family, or whatever your why or your goals are, okay? So to stop you from inhibiting and limiting yourself, I've prepared a few um, reasons or a few marketing strategies that I help my clients with so that they can start scale and grow a business that's profitable and enjoyable. So before we even start this, you know this is going to be really good. Please share this video with people that are around. And if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to the channel because we always bring out explosive content. Okay, right. To also really, really, really justify why everything is not working for for, for people in their entrepreneurial sense is because there is so much information on the market right now. There is so much gunk, goobly goog that's being bombarded to people every single day on the market okay and trish how's it going my love thank you so much for tuning in and liz strom hello from washington dc all right uh hopefully you're enjoying um july the fourth ad day for yourself and barbara says what i do i'm a va so i start new startups sole traders start medium businesses with uh social media marketing admin copywriting and lead generation 
That's that's pretty cool. At least you've got a defined market. All right. Okay. So while we're going there, I need you to be answering this question for yourself. What do you sell and who needs it? Okay. First of all, I was still ranting about content. Content has become mindless and most of it has just become so much opinionated out there. Okay, big content sites like maybe your Forbes, uh, Entrepreneur Inc. or Huffington Post, they're just constantly putting out, I would want to say right now, some of the, uh, the, 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 the posts out there are bullshit. Yeah, you know, there's some good ones and there's some that are just mainly a lot of crud. Okay, you know, you're always getting information like four ways to become a millionaire, which is all right, and then you get five things that you need to know on how to become a unicorn. It's giving people a lot of false hope. It's giving people a lot of, um, you know, unwarranted stress. Okay, there's just maybe three or four distinctions to entrepreneurship. There's the ones that really want venture capitalism. There's the other ones that want to back themselves up as, you know, a small business owner. And, you know, there's a lot of entrepreneurs that are out there that are just ruining it, everybody for everyone. Okay, and the fact that you also get a few content creators that are just peddling the whole bullshit. And some of them have not even done the work themselves. It's very annoying and it's frustrating and it's making people, um, you know, you know, feel inadequate and they follow up with it with you know marketing strategies that would never lead them to go anywhere. All right. So at the end of the day, it's not your fault. The whole, you know, system, the whole setup is riddled first for you to become a statistic because they always want to peddle the fact that, you know, one in every 10 um, uh, startups that start or one in every 10 small businesses leave up to year number five. And then they do not give you the right kind of information with the right kind of framework so that you can actually start, scale and grow a business that's profitable and enjoyable. OK, I'm not ranting against all those other publications. They're doing their job. They're feeding their families, but not at the expense of of people that I actually care about, which is you, the small business owner that's really, really trying to create a meaningful business that's profitable and enjoyable. Okay, so here I am with at least maybe five or six um, best marketing practices from what I've seen and what I've seen other people do and what I've um, encouraged other you know small businesses to. To, to do and what I've coached my clients to actually start doing of which I'm proud to 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 report that most of my clients are actually earning a little bit more than some gurus out there you better believe it check the uh, testimonials that we've put out there okay so right now what we are facing is a scenario where we've got so much information and we don't know how to cut through um, you know no the noise okay so you know small businesses may come up with you know unique marketing strategies strategies but there's people with bigger budgets that have failed using you know traditional media that are just bombarding Facebook ads and making them more expensive and harder for people like me to reach people like you so that you can have a business that's profitable and enjoyable okay see although you know those conventional ways or the older ways of marketing a product or services they're still relevant today you, you can also try using them with new strategies that will help you reach out to your audience, all right? But I'm also assuming that right now you already know what do you sell and who needs it, okay? For any of these things to work, you really, really, really need to know what you sell and who actually needs it, okay? Uh, Francesco says, I feel you too much info. I get paralyzed. Sorry, man. Well, I hope I'm going to be, um, um, you know, have you ever tried uh, powdered milk or uh, a cordial that you add water to and then it's no longer concentrated? Then you, um, you know, you can drink it and it's easy to, to swallow. I hope I am going to be the water in your cordial. I hope I'm going to be the water in your powdered milk so I can actually make use of that content you already have in your head to actually use it into practical and, um, um, you know, implementable skills that you can actually start working on and utilizing today. OK, so like I keep referring back to this, if you are not sure what you sell and who needs it, you really, really got to sit down and look at this. All right. Because. All marketing strategies have to be specific to the person that actually has a problem that you can solve. All right. So you want to make sure that, you know, I, I, you, 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 you know exactly what 
offer you're going to be offering the, the 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 person who's got that problem that really really needs to be solved okay and eric segura says um keep up the good work brother thank you so much all right so if you understand what your market uh needs and, and if you understand your customers well then you would actually put out content that they need okay but if you don't know that you'll be you know spraying and praying with your marketing that's why it then becomes difficult it becomes overwhelming and then you can't really do it okay so precisely you have to know where your potential clients are hanging out online so that when you're targeting either with ads or on Google or, you know, with, with live streams like this or on YouTube, you are actually targeting the social channels, especially where your clients would be and they will be responsive to the message that you're actually sending out there. All right. So this is a very, very important and not a lot of people dwell on this subject a lot. Who, what do you sell and who needs it? If you don't have that down packed in your marketing strategy and your business, then that's the first place you really, really want to start off with. Okay. You know, this is, this is going to work on your Instagram. All right. Look at this. If you just go on Instagram and put, um, let's say you are a fitness instructor. Are you going to attract an audience of people that like cake decoration? No, you're not because you know what? Fitness instructors have a certain diet. They have a certain look about them. And people that like decorating cakes have a certain diet and have a certain look about them that enjoys sugars and stuff like that. So you got to know what you're selling and who actually needs it for your message to actually stick. All right. So that's also one of um, one of those things. And once you've got that in place, I'm assuming you also already have a website that's, you know, user friendly. It's also mobile compatible and you can actually get leads from those people that already, um, you know, get your message. When they come to your website, they convert into something that could be an email address or it could be, um, you know, a conversion. Because we can't just expect somebody to just see our stuff and convert there and there. All right. Because it takes five or six times up until somebody has, you know, got the trust, the, the no factor and the like factor for them to actually transact and do business with us. So don't expect somebody to just come in and, 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 and make that transaction just because somebody swipe right. It doesn't mean they're ready to Netflix and chill with you. All right. So you want to make sure on your website, everything is there that is designed to grab their email that is designed to, to intrigue them, educate them about who you are, what you can offer and how exactly you are the right person to actually put, um, you know, an end to their pain and to actually help them uh, start scale and grow or whatever it is that you are putting out there. Elizabeth, thank you so much for tuning in. I know you are in the gluten, free baking business maybe this can come in handy to make sure that you actually attract the right kind of clients actually attract the right kind of people that will buy your baked goods at the market etc etc okay so there's a lot of technology there's a lot of marketing there's a lot of growth you got to know your niche you got to have a strategy to bring in whatever customer will come into your um, you know particular niche and periphery there's a few things that a lot of people are not doing all right right now a lot of people are being very romantic about facebook ads all right but these other free um you know utensils or um, utilities like google my business have you ever heard of that uh structure there i use it a lot in my seo business and i use it a lot for my clients you know why because it's the easiest way to get on top of you know the the google rankings um because it's a google product all right a lot of people don't realize that when somebody sees your ads on facebook they will look you up all right and if they don't like what they see automatically you've lost that client so instead of you just throwing money on facebook ads also make sure that your google standing is doing well okay so maybe somebody is, is, is sitting on the toilet or somebody is on a bus or somebody is is is, is you know like today is july the fourth people in, in in america are watching um you know fireworks etc and then they're just scrolling through your news feed all of a sudden they see your ad but they may just remember what you're talking about and they go on to Google you. They don't find you. Is that not wasted ad spend? 
All right. So you want to make sure you're also, you know, you know, um, doubling your marketing effort by using Google My Business. All right. I'm going to be calling it GMB uh, for it to be shorter. Um, you know, for my thought process, I mean, it's it's a lot. It's a lot to say in one word, especially when I'm live and there's a whole lot of pressure of people watching me. Google my business. Google my business. All right, it's one of the most powerful, powerful. I don't want to lie to you guys. Marketing strategies. The reason that it's free and Google will also move it, just like they would move a YouTube listing, because it's one of their products. Okay, so if you use GMB Google My Business to your advantage, you will start seeing results um, of your website ranking maybe second or third whenever somebody looks up something within your niche. Okay, I'm not guaranteeing that as an SEO tactic, but you can actually utilize that to subsi to to subsidize your Facebook activity just in case somebody forgets who you are as a business, but they have a gist of what you were selling. They can go look it up online. And then if you're not there, you've lost that client. Okay. So, you know, if your business gets a listing on GMB, Google my business, get with the program, you know, you know, for, for, for that business, um, uh, especially for people that deal within a local sort of periphery, it really works. Have you ever seen on Google where you have, you know, people's addresses and, and, and if, especially if you're a hairdresser or somebody who's got a really local niche type business that is golden because if somebody has your address, they can literally drive to your place using that Google, my business, uh, listing. All right. So this, this is powerful marketing. For, for people that are using local stuff and trying to get leads through Facebook, you can still double that up with Google, um, you know, uh, my business listing, all right? So you are appearing top in the search engine on Google and you're also appearing close to the top in search engine results, all right? So, you know, you know, try to get your small business that ranked that way without spending a lot of money on SEO. I know right now I'm killing my business because that's my, that's part of my job. But what good would it be if I don't tell you how to actually win and I don't actually help you by actually helping you? Okay. So if you're, um, if you've got a marketing team or if you've got people that can help you with this, get them to list your business on at least three different search engines or three different local directories, usually Yelp or Google or something like that, where you get, you know, enormous traffic, which is just Pretty much people that are searching for your business within that area. And most of those people would have seen an ad and they just want to find out if you've got yet another social footprint. Okay. So this uh, GMP platform, uh, the Google My Business, it actually combines some of the other, you know, Google things that you guys may not be utilizing like Google Plus, which is a social media platform like Facebook, you know, Google Analytics to actually s let you know what I was talking about who exactly needs your product. You can find out who is actually looking at your website. You can look at their demographics. You can look at how old they are. You can look at where they're coming from, et cetera, et cetera. All that information, you can use Google Analytics and plow that into your Facebook ads. All right. So you don't have to guess anymore. You're actually using actual data from your website so that it's no longer spraying and praying and hoping that something would stick. Is that something that, that, that you could use in your business? Um, if it is, just type in yes on there so that I know that I'm not just preaching to an empty theater. Okay. So if you, if you take advantage of, you know, the, the, the Google, um, you know, smaller services, it might take you a day or two to actually, um, co collect all the ones that you have for your business. Those will actually help. All right. You will you will realize that there will be a difference in, 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 in the conversions that you're making within your website, because not everybody just converts on seeing an ad once. They've got to see it at least six or seven times and they got to confirm that you're present anywhere else on the Internet. That will help them make that decision really quick. OK. And there's one other thing, guys, that I constantly, constantly rave and talk about. And if you haven't gotten the blueprint, make sure you get the blueprint so that you too can see how you can capture the right kind of leads. And now we're talking about content, guys. And Bobby says it's all about that pixel. I'm going to the content part and then pixeling is, is, is coming there. OK, so people are coming to the Internet to get information, ladies and gentlemen. 
People are coming to get information, whether it's buying stuff, whether it's knowing about your business, whether it's knowing about your competition, etc., etc. And if your business, just like Professor Bobby, is giving away information, you get to be the business that people know, like, and trust. And people, as far as I'm concerned, whether it's in Africa, whether it's in Bujumbura, whether it's in America, whether it's in Kazakhstan, whether anywhere, people do business with those that they know, like, and trust. So if you want to be in front of your clients, if you want people to actually know who you are and find you relevant and as a problem solver, put out content and test and learn what sort of content people like. Okay, so just like this Facebook live here, my biggest downfall is I cannot write, but I can talk, right? So if I talk like this, this can later be translated into a blog. This can also be taken off of Facebook and then, you know, repurposed into a blog. This can be put on YouTube, etc., etc. So I've put out my content for the day. All right. So you should actually create relevant content that actually showcases what your business can do, your values, what you care about and how you actually solve people's problems and services so that people know and why they are considering to use you, that you're the person that they can know, like and trust and they can refer to when they, 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 they want a problem that you can solve fixed. Okay, so you can now then distribute that content, like I said, either into a blog or, you know, uh, I don't know, it's too much, into a blog or on Facebook or on YouTube or, um, you know, I don't know how you, you might want to do it or into an infograph. Okay, so whichever way you put out that content, people will then start knowing that you're no longer just a one click wonder. You actually know what you're talking about. You're there, you're present. And and you actually care about letting people know that you can solve their problems. Now, as Bobby alluded to earlier on, put a pixel on that content. Now, when you put a pixel, it's harvesting data about the people that are coming to your website, people that are viewing that content, or whatever decision they make on that um, you know, piece of content there. All right. You can then now plug in that, um, you know, pixel information like what Bobby is trying to say there onto, you know, your, your, your Facebook audiences, harvest that information, create an audience specifically of the people that have seen that piece of content. Those people already know who you are. If you send them an ad, they will look at it. You know why? They've already been exposed to your stuff. They already can trust that your content is relevant to them. All right. So now you're no longer just spraying and praying with your marketing. You actually have substance. You actually are spraying to people that know you. You actually are talking to people that have dealt with your content before. All right. So this way, you know, your, your content marketing efforts can now then, you know, yield a good return on your investment. All right. You can tell the stuff that I'm talking about is not for people that are not serious in business. I want to work with people that want to leave a legacy and not a liability. All right. A lot of us, we, we, we might be facing a hard time getting those coins, um, you know, getting uh, leads and stuff like that. And, and, and it's hard to get by. The only reason why most of our ads are not converting is because we're not putting out enough content. All right. And you know what content does? Content engages those people that were saying they should, um, you know, uh, be, be, be the people that buy your stuff. It educates them on what they don't know already about your business or what problems you can solve. It inspires them to move on, to do better, be well, as we inspire people to have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Okay. And then pretty much after that, you're providing value. You're no longer just adding noise into the market. You are actually helping people leave or helping people business or whatever it is, the outcome that you give people. And then eventually you're positioning yourself. Okay, it's not every day that somebody comes in and sees your stuff and is ready to buy there and there. They then make you the person who is the go to within your industry. You then become the person that they can use. You then become the person that when they figure out what you sell, they know that they need it. All right. So you see now how it all comes back together. Once you figure, you actually know what you're actually selling and who you need to go out to reach out to, you can put out ads and until your, your, your heart is satisfied. But 
Make sure that you're putting out content that you can pixel and also doubling your marketing efforts on Google by taking on Google My Business account so that you know them, you get the analytics and find out who exactly is, is interacting with your content and so that you go out there and look for people that are doing, that need your product. It, it, it no longer becomes marketing. And that's why when those really, really clever people say, if you love what you do, it no longer becomes work. Right now, you're giving yourself a lot of work because you're, you're, you're preaching to people that don't want your product. You're trying hard to sell to people that don't even care about you. You're trying hard to sell to people that have never heard about you. So that's why when you create content, because people are coming to the internet to get information. And if you're the person that's providing that information, they get to know, like, and trust you. In the process, Facebook allows you to pixel that content. And when you pixel that content, you can then remarket to those people or create lookalike audiences coming from that pixel. All right? I'm more than happy to, 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 to give um, yet another um, you know, overview of, of this whole thing. It's not that difficult, guys. All that information that we're looking at every single day on Entrepreneur, on um, Link, on Inc, or whatever, talking about all those people getting millions or getting venture capital, etc., etc. You only get that when you know who your customer is and you know what you're selling and you actually have a business. Right, so stop looking at all those seed money or whatever before you actually have something to offer. And for you to have something to offer, you gotta know what you are selling and who needs it. All right, there's nothing as important as you going in there and actually knowing what exactly are you selling and who actually needs what you're selling. When you know that, it's going to be easier for you to reach out to those people that need what you're selling with exactly that same product that you're selling. Okay, so be, be sure you're, you're out there producing quality content on relevant topics that help you reach your clients. Everybody likes buying stuff. Let me tell you, we like purchasing things, but we don't like being sold to. So if you've got blogs out there, or if you've got content that speaks on your behalf, let's say you're in America right now and you're enjoying your freedom, you have blogs that people can be perusing and looking at and, and, and reading, that takes you away from working 24 seven and hustling for no reason. All right, Detria, how are you? Thanks for tuning in. All right, so make sure you're producing really good quality content on relevant topics and you must also optimize that content for SEO, for your readers, and for the search engines. This is where the Google My Business comes in so that when people find your, your stuff, they can easily refer back to um, a search engine and find you there. Okay? So along with, with that, uh, you know, that written content, pay attention to videos, pay attention to podcasts, infographs. In the last one week or so, I've done 24 interviews. They're all going to be coming in one at a time. And it's very exciting, you know, or any other form of content to actually reach people, connect with people and actually care and show them that you can help them by actually helping them. Okay, content marketing is not just writing and distributing blogs or just showing up on live and, and being like, hey guys, listen to what I'm saying. It's got to be relevant. It's got to be towards the people who actually need it and you telling them that, guys, this is what I sell and I can actually help you get your, um, you know, get, get, get your, your, your problem solved through my work. All right, so once you've created those ads, once you've doubled it up on Google, and once you're creating content, all that's left is for you to actually just convert all those people into customers. You know why? Because you're no longer just hunting for them. You've, 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 you've you know, farmed for them and they're ready to become your customers because you've given them enough value that they're like, the only way to give it back to you is to reciprocate with their credit card, okay? And you're solving problems for them and you're not selling them anything. Like I said, people don't like being sold to, but they like, um, you know, to, 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 um, 
buy stuff okay so if you haven't gotten yourself a copy of the blueprint grab it and um, obviously the topic today was just really a few strategies that you can actually use to spice up your marketing maybe you might think you're doing a lot just th throwing out ads there but if you're not utilizing the pixel if you're not utilizing Google to back up that data if you're not using analytics if you're not putting out content then you might just be spraying and praying um, with your content and it might not stay Okay. All right. I don't know if um, this would work. And also, once you start doing that, show up on other people's. Um, you know, if you can't just write content for yourself, offer to write content for other people. Show up on their podcasts, etc., etc. We are all building audiences, but maybe sometimes my audience is not ready to just listen to what I've got to say. Maybe your audience wants to 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 cross pollinate with my audience. Let's get in touch. See how you can do that with other entrepreneurs. Okay. Don't just sit there and play with yourself and hope that something is going to happen or somebody's going to come to your website. Okay. One last question. Question. It's important to be unique in your business and your product and sell the product you love a lot and product you would buy yourself. I became my product and my product sells easily. That's a really valid question. You literally have to actually use your product um, because some people sell things that they wouldn't even allow their grandmother to touch. Right, because then you're not going to be passionate about it. then you're not going to be enthusiastic about it. You know, I used this blueprint to actually become who I am. The reason you're watching this right now is because you're part of this part here of the capture process. So I leave and breathe what I'm talking about. And my clients, like I said earlier on, they're actually earning a little bit more than some gurus out there. It's all because they're following a setup procedure that would definitely help you market skills and grow your business all right i really hope that um um this has been a valuable one and uh that if you've got any questions let's continue them in the chat below and if you really got something out of this please share this video and um you know tag somebody that might want to listen to this or if you want the blueprint comment blueprint right now and stay tuned guys tomorrow i'll be back with another topic i really really hope that this is going to work and I hope um, you guys are going to have a fantastic, um, uh, what is it, July the 4th uh, celebrations. In the meantime, stay, stay gold, guys.